Welcome to episode fourteen twenty six. Wei Jiang Jun, electric vehicle SUV billionaire from China. Actually, he is the chairman, and Wang Fanying has been the CEO of his company Great Wall Motors since two thousand and three. Is an outline of episode fourteen twenty six. 用自己的性命名一部车。却不是为了名声，让一个习惯了拿捏分寸的人自满也难。因为对自己，我永远都觉得还有余地。别人说是谦虚，其实是一种自我保护。但这一次，我决定让自己站在前台，不留退路，赌上一些不该赌的珍惜。人也变得更加严厉，不通人情。有人觉得我太偏执，沉迷于这样那样的细节，但我知道，要做好一件事，必须身体力行。为，不只是一部车，更是一个开创者。Was born in Beijing, China, in 1964. In 1980, at the age of 16, he dropped out of the university to join his father's business. Ten years later, the business went from bad to worse, with accumulated loss of more than one million yuan. In 1991, at the age of 26, he took over a bankrupt factory. He changed the name of the factory from Great Wall Industrial to Great Wall Motors, and he began producing cars such as this sedan. His business was struggling. Three years later, he changed two things to turn his business around. First, he hired a new CEO, Wang Fanying, and also he began a new line of car production, now making pickups. And he would become the pickup truck king of China, with 33% of market share. In 2016, his first electric vehicle SUV. Entered the market in 2021, he sold 120,000 EV SUVs. In March 2022, Wei Jiangjun has a net worth of almost 15 billion dollars, and he's 58 years old. This is the stock price performance of Great Wall Motors since its IPO in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. In 2003, his goal for the future, 2030. Car 零年，我们希望哈佛的销量突破二百万，要超过吉普、路虎，成为全球最大的、最安全的 SUV 品牌。Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Wei Jiangjun Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.